Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my June monthly must-haves. These are everything that I've been loving for this entire month and girl, you're gonna love them too, trust me. So without further ado, grab a little snack snack and let's get right into this. My first monthly favorite is something that I have been loving. It's so different for me to try and this is the Thrive Cosmetics Buildable Blur CC Cream. This is perfect for that everyday type of makeup look, maybe like running errands, you're going to the gym, you just want to look really glowy and natural and cute. I use this pretty much when I'm going to the gym or if I'm like going to work and I just want a quick little boop 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 boop. It's a CC cream so it's not a foundation so it is going to be more likely to slip off your skin just a little bit easier. It is buildable so you can get a really full coverage look with this. You can use it for a light coverage day. It's pretty much up to you and how much you add to your skin. It's oil free so it won't clog your pores at all which is something that I really look for in a foundation or anything that I'm putting on my skin. It has a very natural finish so it's super 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 glowy. For sheer coverage it says to use one pump and then for full coverage it says use two to three pumps and I 100% believe that. I usually do about two pumps and it covers my entire face. It's pretty affordable for how long this has lasted me. I mean I'm getting there. You can see it slowly going down. You can use this with a sponge or a brush. I preferably use it with a brush when I'm like on the go and have to be out the door pretty quick. It also has SPF 35 so it's pretty protecting your skin while you're wearing it. If you go on their website, you can read all about their company and what they stand behind. And it's just an awesome product. I 100% think you guys would love this, especially if you have skin like mine. I don't think you would love this if you have really oily skin, but you can always give it a try and then return it if you don't love it. Another glowy, luminous, hydrating product that I've been loving is the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. It helps my makeup look more luminous and glowy. I use it today and my face just looks really natural and really just like beautiful from within, if you know what I mean. I also love it because it's a continuous setting spray. So you don't have to sit there and keep pumping. You just hold it down. It's like a hairspray bottle. You just go spray it all over your face. It doesn't have any alcohol in it, so it's not going to dry you out, which I hate that some setting sprays have alcohol in it. It's very affordable, too, compared to other setting sprays. It's probably like... I'm going to guess 10 to $15. I'll also link everything that I mentioned down below. And then I used to use makeup wipes to take off my makeup. And don't get me wrong, I do use them when I'm being lazy and I don't want to shower at night and I just want my makeup off. I want to clean my face and I want to go to bed. But if I'm about to shower, then I will use this bad boy to take off my full face of makeup. It takes off everything and it's so affordable. This is the Burt's Bees Cleansing Oil. I know. The word oil freaks some of us out. It freaks me out, okay? Because I don't, I have acne prone skin, I have sensitive skin, I don't like my pores that get clogged, I don't like acne. Nuh uh, not here today, honey. So, this is with coconut and argan oils. It's for normal to dry skin, it's 100% natural. It does not leave an oily residue that some oils leave. Like, I don't know, I don't like Clinique take off the day ball because I feel like it leaves like that residue on your skin. And even though you're going to wash your face after you use this, I just don't like that feeling. So this does not do that. It doesn't break me out whatsoever, which I'm so surprised by because it is an oil. But I guess it's just like the type of oil that doesn't clog your pores. It does a great job of taking off all of your makeup, your eyebrows, your mascara, your lipstick. It literally takes this off so easily. You just take about two pumps, you lather it in your dry hands, you rub it all over your dry face, and then once you feel like you have everything off, you just wash it off and pretty much almost all of your makeup is off. It's very impressive for the price. I think it's like... 12 to 14 dollars again so affordable i'm definitely on that affordable train now that i have my own place and i got bills to pay this lasts a really long time too i've only used about like that much and i feel like i've used this quite a few times so yeah check this out if you're looking for something to take off your makeup and not like tug at your skin i also really like that for that reason i haven't really told this to you guys since I've been back, or like if you guys know this, but I do shave my face. I know that's a little scary to hear and like a little freaky and you're like, girl, what? 
What do you mean you shave your face? Like, that makes no sense. So I do. Um, I didn't like that peach fuzz on my face. I, of course, have really dark hair, and I do get really pale in the winter. And it was just, like, all right here, and I just didn't like the way my makeup was looking over it. I definitely did my research about doing this before trying it because I was very nervous. And I feel like... Um, you definitely have to do your own research as well. But pretty much the reasons why I shave my face is because it helps clear out all of that dead skin that once again causes pores to be clogged and then causes acne. It does that. It helps remove um, your facial peach fuzz. So it makes your makeup look so much more flawless. It looks so much more just airbrushed and pretty. And it has definitely helped with my acne overall. I can tell a difference when I need to shave my face because I'll let it go about like a week and then I'll do it again. Um, I can tell a difference. My pores start to get more clogged. And I think it's because all my dead skin like is just sitting on my skin and it's not getting exfoliated off so this is a great exfoliator to shave my face i use this little guy right here i know i've been like swinging it around but this is called a twinkle i got it off of amazon they're very affordable once again so if you want to try out shaving your face do not use a regular razor okay please don't do that because you're gonna ruin your face use one of these guys because it does have like a little protective thing near the edge so it won't like scratch you or anything. I just want to mention this bathing suit brand to you guys. Um, this is a little bit more pricey and I know some of you won't want to pay this price tag. So it costs about like $80 for a bottom and then like $60 to $80 for a top. I know that's very very expensive. I get it. Trust me, it hurt my heart, it hurt my bank account when I bought this bathing suit, but I think it's 100% worth it if you're looking for this type of style. I'll show you the bottoms first. So it's called 437, and this is the type that I got. I know it looks a little funny right now because it's not on my body, but I'll show you guys a few pictures of me in it. And this is pretty much just like a high-waisted bikini bottom, but I love it because it's super thin on the sides, so it doesn't look like that diaper type of high-waisted bikini bottom. I hate that look. I do not like that look whatsoever. So this is one of their more like revealing bottoms. They do have ones that are a little bit more covered. So if you don't want to show your little butt cheeks that much around your family and stuff, then you definitely can get one of those options. But I just bought this. This is called the Opry Bottom, I believe. And this is just such a nice, stretchy, comfortable material. It's so giving to your body. It goes up super high, so it covers like your belly button. So if you have that little pooch on the bottom of your stomach, then it hides that. It's very flattering. It goes really high cut, so it shows your hips. And if you have larger hips, this is going to make you look so, so, so good. Um, I just think they're worth it. And this is made out of 92% polyester and 8% spandex. And it says to hand wash cold. And I definitely do wash it in cold. I got the bottoms in an extra small just because my bottom portion of my body is just small overall. I'm just a small girl. And then the top is hard to show you because it's all one piece and you just tie it yourself. But I'll show you guys a picture from their website of what it looks like and on me. But this is the Aubrey top, I believe, as well. I could be wrong, but I'm just so lazy. I don't want to look up the name. Um, but pretty much, this is, like goes around your back. So, like, you'll put it on like this, and then you'll, like, tie it. So, you know what I mean? Like, you can do a bow. You can just do a knot. You can, like, wrap it around. So, it's like this. Like, you can do so many different things with this top. It's so versatile. It doesn't have any padding, so just be wary of that. So, I would try to get a darker color. So, if you're nips, you know what I mean? You don't want people seeing your nips. I just love this. It's so comfortable. It makes me feel so, so good about myself. I feel really confident. I just feel like I am killing it. So yeah, definitely check them out. I'll link it down below for you guys if you're willing to spend the money. But I did get a size small on the top and I'm about like a 32B. So just for reference, I did try the extra small top, but it literally didn't cover anything. So I had to get an extra small bottom and a small top. So now moving into more fitness type things, I needed to mention these glute bands to you guys. These are from Susie KB. Um, her website is suzybfitness.com and then her Instagram is Susie underscore KB. She posts a bunch of fitness workout videos all about 
glutes, arms, she does pretty much everything, abs, legs, biceps, triceps, whatever you're feeling. She does at-home workouts, she does like at-the-beach workouts, gym workouts, she pretty much does everything. And I feel like I can relate to her the most because she was small like me and she just looks so damn good she is killing it so go follow her and i just wanted to mention these glute bands this is her brand and they are so good you have no idea they come in like cute little packaging like little bags so cute and she has a light to medium resistancy and then a medium to heavy and this one right here is medium to heavy so you can see <sighs> Oh my god, it's like so hard. So when you put these around your legs, like let me just show you. I don't match, okay? Don't judge me. Like you put it like this, and then like you can squat in it, and it helps to target your glutes more. So that's what I use it for. I use it for squatting. I use it um, for like leg bridges, um, hip thrusts. I use it for so many different things. Oh my god, I'm struggling right now. And I just feel like they're so worth it, especially if you have those stubborn glutes and they're not growing. Girl, you gotta target your glutes. I love the inside because they have like a little rubber, like the little rubber things right here. So it doesn't slip off of you. So it stays in place. She has our little brand right here. They're so heavy duty. They're made so well. I use this one almost every leg day and it still looks brand new. It doesn't ruin your leggings. It doesn't ruin anything, pretty much. Like, I was scared that it was going to ruin my Lululemon Alliance, but it doesn't. I don't know how. She's, like, made magic. So that is the medium to heavy one. And then this is the turquoise one that I got, or, like, the Tiffany blue one. And this one is light to medium. So you can see that this one has a little bit more give to it. It's great to have both because I use both for different things. It's nice to have both resistances. She has a ton of different um, patterns. She just came out with like cheetah. They're so cute. Definitely go check her out. I'll leave her Instagram down below and I'll leave of course her website as well. And moving on to the last product I want to talk about. I know some of you are not going to be interested in this. And then some of you will be curious about it. So pretty much when I work out, I always drink a protein shake afterwards. I just wanted to mention this protein that I have been loving. This is probably like my third or fourth tub. And this is the GNC Amp Pure Isolate Micro Filtered Whey Protein Isolate. It's about like $35 for this tub. And this has... 28 servings, so it will last me about a whole month because I don't really go to the gym on the weekends. And this is the flavor chocolate lava cake. They have like chocolate, vanilla, strawberry, cookies and cream. They have a bunch, especially online. They have so many different kinds. But this is my all-time favorite one. It's so good. Um, the main thing that I wanted to tell you guys about this is it's not clumpy. It doesn't get clumpy. It's super like filtered, so it's very thin. And it just, you can shake it in your bottle with milk, coconut milk, almond milk, even water if you don't have milk at the time. And it tastes so good. So this has 120 calories for one scoop. I always just use one scoop at a time. Um, total fat is 1 grams. Total carbs is 3 grams. Protein is 25 grams. Total sugars is 1 gram. That's so important. Sugars are not good for you, especially if you have a lot. So one gram is really good. Um, it's just made out of whey protein isolate, cocoa powder, natural and artificial flavor, lecithin, cellulose gum, salt, sucralose, asa, oh my god, something potassium, something like that. So yeah, it also has five grams of BCAAs, one gram of creatine building blocks, and 19 grams of muscle supporting amino acids. So I don't really know what all that stuff means, honestly, like I'm just being honest. But I just really like this. It tastes really good. I feel like it works really well. It doesn't get clumpy because your girl hates clumps. Ew. So those are all the products that I've been loving for pretty much a while now, but mainly focused in the month of June. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, or comments, or concerns, just leave them down below. I respond to everyone because I just love you guys so much. Before you leave, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye loves.